Hey, this is Prospector Jess from HuntingForGold.com. Took the family out for an adventure. We went to the GPAA, or Gold Prospectors Association of America, Gold and Treasure Show. It's a lot of fun. You ought to take it in sometime. If nothing else, you get a good idea of some really interesting things, like this golden sand sucker. It allows you to pick up gold when you're sniping for sucking or dredging along cracks in the creeks. Pretty cool little tool. It has its own built-in bucket for capturing the sands as you pump them out of the cracks. So we thought we'd go ahead and get one of these things and give it a try. You'll see that in another video where we test it out in the creek. Pretty interesting day too because it was raining and there wasn't really a whole lot better to do than to go to the Golden Treasure Show. But afterwards the rain broke and we had a chance to go up in the Azusa River area and try some interesting prospect using this new tool. And a couple of 14 inch keen pans. That was fun too. Right here he's demonstrating how to use the how to use the uh, pump properly and how to set the leather double action seals. Uh, they're designed to be longer lasting. Uh, we've done this before with rubber seals and done some of our own work and it tends to get jammed up. No end of nifty gadgets from snap-on bucket handles to special fine gold concentrators. Pretty cool stuff. We also uh, spent some time over with folks at, at uh, 49er Mining Supplies. Uh, this is uh, Rob Gorham, who has a shop up there in the Sierra foothills. Fantastic supplier of keen equipment. He also does a lot of work with the GPAA and the uh, GPAA LDMA site up there out of Stanislaus River area. So it's worth uh, spending some time talking with him because he's got quite a bit of experience. You can see the nuggets in the background there. Those are from Alaska. But uh, this guy has been around and uh, is quite helpful, quite knowledgeable on the subject of gold prospecting. If you get a chance to talk to him, you should. Uh, he's also a good friend of a friend of mine, uh, who I mentioned before, uh, Joshua, who passed away a while back. So this is one of those things where you just get a chance to kind of get a glimpse of everything at once and you even get a chance to look at your golden prey. Pretty cool, aren't they? And there's some coarse gold. Take a look at those nuggets. Wouldn't that be fun to take home? You bet it would. Most of these were found in Alaska. Uh, Rob was telling me that you know he had picked them up in Alaska on some expeditions up there. You know, speaking of which, you can sign up for GPAA Alaska expeditions uh, through them. So the Gold Prospectors Association of America has a regular camp up in Alaska that you can go up to. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a more advanced kind of thing, but it'd be a blast to go to. I uh, went over, nothing quite like stopping by Keen and seeing what they have going on. They were showing some of their latest uh, gnome uh, gold high banker sluices for uh, high banking in sand on the uh, gold beaches in Alaska. Also, uh, you know, the standard dredge equipment and, and dry uh, dry washers, and various other tools of the trade. Um, met with Pat Keen, talked to him. So, good prospecting. Prospector Jess, over and out. Hey, pay a visit over to the site, huntingforgold.com. Check us out. And while you're at it, you might as well go over and take a look at the next video, because it's really taking a field trip with all this equipment.